uh, I saw Don't Look Up. Mm-hmm. And like at the end of the, well, shit, I'm spoiling it. It's, our, it's been out long enough. I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, fuck you if you haven't seen it. It's, it's been out for two good. months. It's nominated for an Oscar, but at the end, they're together as a family mm-hmm. and it happens. Yeah. That's kind of how I want to be. Just, yeah. That's a know, powerful just ending. a good time and then everything around me, who cares? I'm not even paying attention. I'm just enjoying life. Right. Because you can't stop it. You can't stop it. Right. You know, I, I like that. I, I, you mentioned Jonah Hill was off putting in that movie. I want to say he wasn't in it enough to be off-putting. I didn't find him, like, overwhelming. I, he was in it, like, three or four times. Yeah, he was a typical Jonah Hill douche character. I mean, he has no range whatsoever. I think but it was his I number of, like, turn it off. It was his number of lines in a scene. Was it when he was like, dear God, there's a lot of cool shit and nice shit out there? And I didn't say he wasn't funny. <laughs> or he took that Molly before there. Yeah. <laughs> and, his, and then his mom left him. That was cruel, man. Like she's yeah. supposed to be Trump, I guess. They're supposed, yeah. to, they're supposed to be the conservatives. Like, don't look up, don't look up. Yeah. And Leonardo DiCaprio was supposed to be like Fauci, I guess. Leonardo was supposed to be Fauci. I don't know. I mean, he was like the expert that they brought on TV. Yeah, I mean, I he know. was on the Tyler Perry show, and he starts screaming. Oh yeah. The one, I, was, the... I fell asleep when I watched it originally. I just fell asleep when I woke up, and he's like screaming. He's just like, this administration is fucking. I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And then the one guy was basically Steve Jobs reincarnated. That dude Mar- was or Mark, Zucker- fuck, or Mark Zuckerberg. It was all of them. It was all of them put together. Just some sort of tech giant. Yeah. Where did they go? Did they go to some other planet, him and Meryl Streep. I know yeah. I, she's saying like they're going to some other galaxy, but they're going to go like repopulate some other where, someplace, yeah. like start over. Yeah. I would be like, yeah, fuck that. I, I'd rather just <laughs> I'd rather just sit here. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's it's I'm glad that movie was made because it wasn't a safe Hollywood movie. It went against a lot of it criticized everything. It basically criticized everything we are for the past two years. Yeah. It parodied society, modern day technology, and media. both sides. I feel like the both sides. Both sides. Yeah. I was waiting for some like you know liberal push or uh, you know something, but they made fun of them too. I forgot which scenes it was, but they, I, I made a note that they he uh, made fun of both sides, which is good. Well, he's a he's a liberal dude. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but. I, I thought when he made Vice, like I thought it was going to be like him just ripping on Cheney, but it was like an honest document mm. or whatever biography or whatever. Like he did it. He, you can tell he cared about the character. It wasn't just like a hit job. Yeah. And that's honest filmmaking. It's, it's not pandering. It's, you know what I mean? He could easily made don't look up and pandered politically to either side. And I really one like of the sides would have been like, this is genius. I enjoy his serious movies. Like the big yeah, have you seen the big short? Yeah, that's that's one of my favorite movies. Not one of my favorite, but it's, it's a really. I good haven't movie. seen that. Is that about like Wall Street or like finances or something? No, it's about the housing uh, okay. crisis in two thousand eight. It makes you never want to have a mortgage because <laughs> it's still continuing. It's one. still it's still continuing to this day. Just like anything, it's just called something different. Are you gonna watch Showtime when that comes out? Showtime. Oh, the, the Lakers? Uh, Lakers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's his show. Um, so hbo's they've been putting they, they've been sticking with the quality um you watch it euphoria yes uh this last episode was a bit strange it was i mean we it was hard the, to get through we knew the play I, episode I, we knew the play episode was coming i know but like it was just too artsy for me i mean it was good yeah. but like there's other stuff that obviously was going on that you cared about more versus like the play yeah. It was well done. It was well produced. It was well acted, like the whole like show. But I was just like, I didn't even finish it the first time. I had to like pick it back up like before we recorded because I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah. I don't what what, what, <laughs> what happened. Yeah, all, a lot of those big shows that are big into cinematography, like they might have like that one episode that like a takes filler. a pause from like all the storylines to breathe and then picks it back up. It's pretty That's what's uh. That's what the gemstones do when they do the retro episodes. I think they've they done that. They didn't do one. Did this... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, they've been doing a lot of like retro, like they put, been putting them like throughout the episodes. Right. But the first season, they had a whole retro episode right. of like Baby Billy and his wife. And then this one, they had the Baby Billy coming through. <laughs> I can't even say what this tree. <laughs> Baby Billy? No, he's a grown man. <laughs> Uncle Baby Billy. <laughs> Uncle Baby, no, what, what what scene was it when she was calling? She was she was calling somebody to look for him. It was like Uncle Baby Billy. He's like, no, he's not a baby. He's a man. He's a grown man. <laughs> what a show! I just watched. I just watched the latest episode today. Where I got uh, one more. I got one more to okay, catch up. Okay, okay. But uh, the last one I saw was like the hospital scene. Yeah. This that was pretty good. Yeah, th- those so those are like the two biggest ones happening right now. I still Peacemaker, I think they're ending next week too. Yeah, like, Peacemaker is on my list. That's my next one I'm gonna watch. Peacemaker is basically you haven't seen Deadpool, have you? Yeah. Okay, it's just like De- DC's version of Deadpool. Okay. Like it's serious, it's action, it's violent, but it's also like dick jokes and great. You know, he's not very PC. And he's in a PC world. <laughs> his dad is a. Uh, his dad was Terminator uh, T one thousand. Oh really? And he's like this like a clan dude. Like so, I don't know. He's I'll... just like a. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. No, I'm done. That's all. I, I... I'm sorry. I'm. I had a mental fart because I was gonna say the there's a a special appearance in the newest gemstones, but I forgot you didn't see it. Is it is it gonna rock my world? I don't want to spoil it. It's an okay. actor. It's an actor who who has not acted in a long time. Oh, it, it was very odd to see. That's all. That's all I'll say. Okay. I want to do I look little, forward to that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and other than that, I don't think I've I've watched any movies. I saw Nightmare Alley. Which is also nominated for an Oscar is that a, on HBO Max. Is that Del Toro? Yeah. yeah. Bradley Cooper. Okay. It's pretty good. I really liked it actually. What what's it what, which one was that about? Um late thirties, early forties, uh, World War Two era. Mm. It's like a sideshow carnival thing. He's a mentalist. You know what a mentalist is? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, William Defoe runs the carnival. That sounds good. I might like and that. then he kind of tries to break away, go his own way. But it's really fucking disturbing and dark. Like it, it, it's 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 good though. Like I, it kind of comes full circle at one point. And I mean, I, I thought it was great. So those are the only Oscar movies I've seen were Look, Don't Look Up and Nightmare Alley. I'm not, I'm not really sure what else has been nominated for best film, but they have like. They have three ladies hosting it this year. Amy Schumer is one of them. It's like, do they not want people to watch? <laughs> they have to be tax write offs by this point. I mean, I, I don't mind. I, I, um, shit. Sorry. Right. Um, Wanda Sykes is another one. I don't mind her as much, but I know Amy Schumer has got a lot of hate. People accuse her of stealing jokes. Yeah. So let's get some controversial people to host the Oscars. I mean, if you want to go that route, get like the Ricky Gervais, but he'll probably never host ever again in his life after what he did that one time. You know who'd be the the best host right now? Dave Chappelle, Joe Rogan, and Dave Chappelle, and Ricky Gervais. Yeah, that was like. I think, like, unfortunately, people would not show them respect. Like, people would boycott. Oh no, no way they would boycott. If Joe Rogan hosted the Oscars, like all the celebrities wouldn't show up. That'd be so hilarious. Yeah. yeah, but hey, if they if they want ratings, all they care about is ratings. Man, they I haven't tune in. Good, they haven't had good ratings in like ten years. That's what I mean, man. Mix it up. Mix it up. Who it's was good. the person who had to step down because they Kevin Hart? They had they, yeah. They, I'm they sorry, found out I made like, a joke f- thirty years ago. That may have been like, yeah, was, I didn't. I don't know what the joke was. It may have been serious. I don't know. No, I I heard I remember reading the jokes. There were tweets that came out like in 2010, 2011 that you man you had to really dig for. And he stepped down. I think he stepped down. I think he wouldn't apologize. Yeah. I think he just said I'm not going to do it, which I yeah. respect. And then I think they got Chris Rock who 
isn't exactly PC either. <laughs> um, no. I mean, he's funny, but I remember the old days. I mean, the old days, it was a big deal who hosted the Oscars. It was like who hosted, uh, you know, the MTV Music Awards, which doesn't right. matter anymore. And it was like a big, oh, my God, the monologue. I remember Seth MacFarlane doing it, like, about yeah. 2012, 2013, and mm-hmm. people hated it. Um, it's just one of those jobs, like the Super Bowl halftime show, unlike this year, where you're opening yourself up just to be ripped apart. It's one of those, like, oh, terrible host, terrible halftime show. This sucks. This sucks. Or you just get half the people who say that and half that loved it. Yeah. Which is basically. Do you like the Super Bowl halftime show? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, that was, that was, was high school, man. <laughs> I thought it was like not only that was just good. It was a good concept. It was a good. It was a good production. Um, yeah, you know, he, here's the thing. Before, you know, all the media fucks and the fucking Twitter fucks and everybody who's got to make comments, like take all that shit out. Like just me sitting there watching it, and when it was done, I clapped. I'm like this was awesome. I like, but don't know he kneeled. I don't know did this. And the only have white people here. And the only have like, how many people actually saw and like pay attention to, to any of that? To what? I can't understand what you're saying. So, so like, of course, the Eminem kneeled. I didn't even notice Eminem kneeled. Or like, if I did, I. like, I didn't even, it didn't even like, yeah, I thought he was just doing something cool. And then Dr. Dre was play, playing piano in the background. Oh, that's cool. And then like, they're both sides were saying it was racist because the the dancers or whatever they are, the people who were like the choreographers, like there were only white ones when Eminem was rapping. And then for the oh. other side, there were the black ones, which okay, I'm splitting hairs. Uh, well, that's what these people do. That's <laughs> that's ridiculous. The Eminem taking a knee thing, he might have been taking a knee. I didn't catch it. I wasn't paying attention. The thing was is that I think he asked if he could take a knee, and NFL said, please don't, or you can't. But when he took a knee, he did it while Dr. Dre was playing the intro to a Tupac song. So you can say he was doing it for the memory of Tupac. Wink, wink, fuck you, NFL. I don't know. I don't have know. you – you watch Always Sunny, right? I love it. Yeah, one of my favorite shows. So there's that one scene where, where they're all sitting at a table and Charlie just screams shut up like at the top of his lungs like four or five times. Like, shut, shut up, up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah. Like there, like there was memes that are coming out like, did you hear this? Did you hear about Joe Rogan? Did you hear about how racist this person? And like, it's just him just screaming. Just shut up. I don't care. I think that's a lie. In that line, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Something like that. There is some scene where he does start like banging his hands on the table. Yeah, and he's that's like, what shut it up, is. shut up, shut up. Yeah. He's like screaming. Yeah. I think he's talking to D. The uh I think he's talking to D. She's like talking to him while he's trying to do something. Anyway, it was just a, a you know gif. Jeff. Well, it's GIF. like we couldn't have anything nice. We had a great halftime show and everyone's gotta like pick it apart and be like, but it's for like, millennials. No, it's for you, the Gen Xers. Oh, did it's you old expect now. anything different? No, I just hate society. It don't look up was right. Yeah. Even though I don't <laughs> remember, I don't remember a lot of any talk about the weekend last year? The weekend. Oh uh, yes, I do. It was I mean, like hate, but like, but just what is this? But nothing like controversial or. It wasn't like that riveting. I mean, I like the weekend, and I think it's great and everything. Wasn't that? Was there, wasn't there no one in the stadium? I can't remember. Or, it was different. Like it wasn't like a big production. It was like half of it was taped. Yeah, it wasn't remember? a big production. I remember being like underwhelmed by the production quality. Was there people at the Super Bowl last year? There had to. I want to say, yeah, first responders and. Oh yeah, it was in like, Florida. Pro- it was in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was trying. I to remember think the of... Justin Timberlake one was pretty bad too. Like just underwhelming. Like he that came out of the locker dumb. room. Yeah. Yeah. And then even Lady Gaga's was. I liked hers actually. Okay. Who she had someone with her that like caused the controversy. Who does she have with her? Was that Missy Elliott? There was one that had like Missy Elliott for like five seconds. Whoever her guest was had like more con- like they, didn't she like lick or like do this? Okay. Oh no, yeah. probably Missy Elliott. This I don't know. Stupid. We're, we're then there's all- the Bruno Mars one and Red Eye Sleep Peppers where the Red Eye Sleep Peppers got destroyed because you know you're lip syncing. It's not live. None of it's live. Right. So people go, why can't we have rock bands at the Super Bowl halftime show? Because why? You want to watch people not play their instruments i mean the chili peppers came out there and bruno mars this thing and they played like a couple like 
couple verses of each, a uh, couple songs, and then, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. It has to be pop. It has to be hip hop. I mean, it can't be like you really want to watch ten minutes of like ACDC like like lip sync and pretend to play their instruments. Right. Because it's so time sensitive, you can't fuck around. You can't be like thirty seconds over. It's got to be boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not taped beforehand. Is it taped beforehand? Or are you watching no. it live? We're watching it live. Okay, that's what yes, I, I don't know. Yeah, because the the sky, the 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 it's, if it's outside, you can tell the difference between the sky. Yeah, and I guess it was light there in California. Usually, it's dark time, nighttime. I don't. Know. I enjoyed it. Snoop's coming to the family arena. Really, St. Charles. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, they always get bad turnouts at the family arena. It seems. I feel I like you. Would, I feel like you would have a bigger. Good night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, family arena. I feel like I don't know. You might as well play the pageant. Yeah, or just anything but the family arena. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess that's or like or like uh, Chaffetz. Yeah, or the steeple. That's what I meant. Steeple. What's yeah. the Chaffetz? Oh no, no. Chaffetz is the Billikens, and the cha- and the steeple is the hockey, the uh, hockey, the whatever it is. Scott Trade Enterprise Keel. Peabody Opera House. Yeah, yeah, all that. There's too many. There's all those new ones. Have you been to the factory yet? No, I might go see uh, Seven Dust at the end of March, maybe. I, I'm an old school Seven Dust fan, and they're playing one of their albums, like a 25th anniversary, but I probably won't. Um, uh, I had to see. There was one show I was going to go out there, but I canceled it. No, that was, uh, that was the place in Chesterfield. I didn't want to go. I didn't feel like it. I don't know. So what's the one in Chesterfield called? Is that's that the factory? factory? That's the factory. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was gonna go there. Yeah. And, and it was uh, it was like that dead mouse dude. And I mean, I it took me a moment to realize like it's not gonna be what I want. Like I want to, I want to see one of those shows like at a festival or like at like you know, yeah, not at a casino club, right? Not, not some club like solo by myself, and, like being pushed around and like everyone dancing. It's like three thousand people. Like the next day, I read it was like packed and like. He couldn't move and just say, Is it worth getting come COVID on over? Like one in the morning. Oh, huh? says, Is it yeah, worth like getting I, COVID over? Yeah. I mean, I was just like, Man, I, I just, I think I just hit like an open mic up after instead of that. Cause I'm like, I, I don't want to be. I mean, I remember like getting home, like it was like one o'clock when I got home and I'm like, He would just be coming on right now. Like, I'm fucking old, man. But like, no shit. And then like, you probably go to like three and then just like all these people on ecstasy and shit. And I'm like, That's just not my scene. Just not my scene, so nope. I, I sold the tickets. Nope, we're just we're getting old slash our old. It happens every day. Well, it's just day. not even that. It's just like it's old, but it's also like social stuff. Oh, like I know. Anxiety. Yeah. And I saw like uh, Daft Punk at Lollapalooza, like in a big field where I could stand safely away from people. And then I also saw Skrillex years later at Lollapalooza, and I was in the uh, in the middle of it, and it was pretty. It was fun, but I don't want to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's almost like fucking mosh pitting. I saw just moving around in some fucking orgy. I saw uh, Tiesto in Amsterdam on Queen's Day. So What's Queen's, Queen's Day. Queen's Day is the one day. It's coming up. It's like April 29th. It's the one day that everybody in the country wears orange and goes to Amsterdam. Wow. Everybody. It's a big deal. Uh, Mark my calendar. It's a big deal. And yeah, Tiesto, Tiesto put on a free concert in the uh, whatever, the park there. And like, we have no idea. I, I mean, I know Tiesto, what Tiesto is. Yeah. But it's like, where are we going? This is by the end of the night, too. It's like, where are we headed? <laughs> we're going to see Tiesto. I'm like, all right, who's that? Actually, I think I knew who Tiesto was at that time. But, uh, but yeah, we were just watching. And it was, I guess there was an, it, it, there was either enough room or there wasn't a lot of people watching. Cause I remember like not being, there's a lot of people around, but not like jam packed. And, uh, but it was cool. Kind of like what you're saying. Like I was safely, like it wasn't bombarded by people. So it was like kind of cool. 
Yeah, that's like I don't think I would have had that vibe at the factory seeing Dead Mouse. I think that by one AM I probably would have been losing my shit on people. And uh, you know, I yeah, it's just you know, if if so, I went with other people and shit, maybe it'd be different, but I'd probably not. It probably would have been still like, give me the fuck out of here. Then I'd be at their mercy to fucking leave. Do they have uh, openers? I guess they do, yeah, right? Like, you don't yeah. get there at midnight, I guess. They had two openers. It started at nine. So it one opener from nine to ten, and then one from like ten thirty to midnight, and then he came on like at one. Or maybe he came on at midnight, yeah, but that's just it's just not your I mean, I remember those days like in in Europe, like that was basically every night we went out. Not every night, but every night we went out, it was you know. But we didn't. Yeah, but it was like that. We didn't go out to like ten or eleven, and then that's just, the nightclubs and shit, man. I mean, yeah, it was just a, European nightclubs. A, you just go out and like it's just boom, 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 the whole night, and like we just dance. I mean, we were fucking. There's a place in St. Charles by the casino, uh, which uh, fucking one. You know, you're going over the bridge. Like, yeah. Ameristar. Yeah. Rise nightclub. Rise and nightclub. They have like they've had like big name like you know DJ people come through. Yeah. But like I inquired, and they don't come on till like two or three. Yeah, and they go to like in, in the, the 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 you know morning almost, and they have a dress code. What's the dress code for a nightclub? Just don't dress like a piece of shit. Yeah, it's probably okay. like probably like no, no shorts, no shorts, no jerseys, no hats, nothing. Yeah, probably shoes, no sandals, no flip flops, no tennis shoes. Maybe depending on how strict they are. I was it, used like, to, it used to be like that. It used to be like that. I remember going out back in the day. And like they wouldn't let we were with like a group and like some was either wearing tennis shoes or sandals. I can't remember. They wouldn't let them in. Sucks. Sucks be you. Sucks when you find out the rules are too late. <laughs> and nowadays it's like, all right, let's go home. Cool. I, mean, I want to go to like a DJ show, but like I want to I don't want to be out all night with a bunch of people like touching me and stuff. <sighs> yeah, like we I could be like a gerbil ball that just bounces around. And yeah. I can like... <laughs> we, we finished up our last gig downtown at one. We got out of there about one, one thirty. And it was like, like whoever was left there is pretty, it was a pretty gross scene. And then like, you, you know, look across the, the, it was a wheelhouse. Remember there's another club across the street and there's just like banging, just like lights. And it's like, shit. People are still raging. Oh, Not yeah. Me. People, people home. love the rage. I like a good rage every once in a while, but, like, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. And once I found out, I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. Yeah. And then uh, if I'm, like, stuck in Chesterfield at 3 in the morning, like, fuck that. The, the, rage, the rage I like to go to is, is not happening for another year. Again. Yeah, so you're getting your money back? Do you want to hear how stupid I am? <laughs> sure. How stupid are you? So I bought these tickets. It was the rare occasion that I did that. Okay, it goes on sale at 10 a.m. I got to be on, on standby at 10 a.m. Probably didn't get them to like 1045, whatever the first section they got me. I'm like, well, I guess I got to get it. Way in the nosebleeds. I didn't realize how high up they were. They were high up. One, whatever it was, after fees, 150 a ticket. And so I look, once they reschedule the date, I look at like, oh, man, there's a lot closer seats for the same price. So I'm like, well, let's get a refund. I'll just buy new tickets. So to get a refund, I have to have the original payment method. And I paid them with a freaking gift card that I got from like the year end or uh, whatever, either a bonus or something. I had a, I remember I had a $500 gift card that I paid with them. I can't find that card. Fuck. And the FAQ says it has to be, the refund has to go to the original payment and not another payment method. Well, so, at least your money will be donated to a charity that you won't know about. Oh, I want to joke. I mean, I might be able to make a phone call if I buy more tickets. Like, Hey, I just want to, refund this and buy more like nightmare just, seriously like, I, was just, nightmare. I, can't, like I can't find the card and like i moved since then so it's like there's no telling where it's at i'm so mad at myself it's a year away now it's another year away i still want to like go. coming up soon now it's i a year still want to go it just pisses me off that i paid this much and we're sitting in the 
fucking nosebleeds. Oh, like we won't be able to see shit. We won't be able to see anything. It'll be they'll be like this big. And like even like the sound system, I mean it might be okay. I don't know. There'll so. be fucking idiots there, like thinking they're badass like rebels and doing dumb shit. Or there'll be a bunch of older people like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably both. Probably there'll both. be a bunch of dumb young people like, let's just let's tear down this place. Oh, an, pick me up at eleven. It'll be an interesting crowd for sure, but don't have to worry about that for another year. That sucks, man. That really does. I mean, that really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> And you're not going to Tool? No. I got a gig that night. I had tickets. Take I returned, or not return them, but I had somebody else go. You returned the tickets? I'm kind of glad I'm not going. Why, Jerry? Why? I don't know. Just like anything. It's, uh, that's why I've always, I don't know, I've seen Tool so many times in life. I just can't justify spending that money. It's not a money thing, but it's just like I'm doing all this, making you know, it's effort. You're putting all the effort, effort, taking the night off, and all this stuff, and it's like they play ten songs, and half of these songs either I've heard many times or half of them I don't I haven't listened. I probably should listen to the new album. I probably would if I was going to the concert, and then half of them are new songs. It's like, meh. they're not playing a, a, enough obscure songs. I think what is it? Just the patient. <laughs> you basically told me Santa Claus isn't real. My bad. They're playing the grudge, and I can't remember if they played the grudge last time I went. I feel like they did. Did they play the grudge last say time? I did too. If you went the last time, I did. So the grudge is a good one, but I feel like yeah. they, I, I'm pretty sure they did that last time. No, they did the pot. I don't know if they did the grudge. I know they did the pot for sure because they did it a step lower and it sounded different. Um. So yeah, I don't know. And I, you know, I do the same, like I did the same with Muse. Like I saw Muse so many times, like the last time they came, I didn't see him. Cause I'm like, eh, I, I just saw like, it wasn't, they came like, it wasn't a new album or it was before their new album. So it's one of those tours where like, they didn't have a new album. Like, well, I've, I've seen, I saw the tour before. So. Mm. I remember seeing him with you at the pageant. I think it was you with you. Yeah. Like back, 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 back. Shit, the I've, day before the- I've seen them. God. One, two. I saw. I've seen them three times in St. Louis. I saw them once in Germany. I saw them. So was that one, two, three, four? Is that it? Four times. Yeah, I guess I've only seen them four times. But what's it like seeing a concert in Germany? Like seeing it here? I don't know. People like do like people yell German stuff at you? No. Oh. It seemed there's nothing in my memory that made it seem different it was a smaller venue um yeah because i went I, I saw tool in uh rotterdam okay and like the the places are small they're like they're almost like the 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 um, stiefel or not stiefel the um Badger. no um we just talked about it the chaffetz the chaffetz oh, yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's kind of has that arena feel, but it's only like it doesn't have the upper deck. It's like half an half a, a stadium or arena. Yeah, that's, not, that's, a, that's that's a good way to describe the shape. It's half a stadium. Yeah, it's like half. You know, they had an upper deck. I don't know. It just seemed like I was expecting like these big, especially if I, like Muse is a European band. So I thought they would we they would play in somewhere huge, but it's pretty small, small ish. Maybe it's European custom to play small venues. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's but they have, but they, but they, but, they, but at the same time, like they'll like maybe it's just their album cycle because I remember Muse played like Wembley Stadium, and it's like huge. <laughs> yeah, and I take that back because there's like huge heavy metal festivals that put our heavy metal festivals to shame, and it's like I don't know how many people it looks like a million. I <laughs> think yeah, <laughs> just a, a sea of fucking metalhead European angry yeah. people. And with Muse, this was also like shit. shit. 15 years ago so maybe they just weren't as big yet maybe they did the stadiums after that yeah maybe we saw them at the pageant what you oh, i don't say what year it was but it was it was like it was a good good while ago man like, yeah that's my like, I, that's well, my I'm favorite really with them. yeah i wasn't either you're I mean, like I hey I got, I got tickets you know 
like that's my favorite muse like that album and like the album before it and then they started to decline after not decline just different they're more raw would you agree they're a, a poor man's radiohead no it's either radiohead or muse it's like the beatles no or the way. rolling stones nope you cannot compare them maybe like the sound of their voice but the bands are so sonically different Radiohead's more like experimental. I mean, they're rock, but they're more like on the experimental side. And Muse is more experimental, but power rock and prog. And I enjoy like, Muse. Like I think, Muse oh yeah, is great. I I like both of them. I like. Yeah. I think maybe when they started, they were because Radiohead was pretty like a heavy, heavyish rock band, almost like a almost like a like a British Weezer, like a darker British Weezer. They started off just like, you know, just like the dirty raw. Like those two albums. And then once OK Computer came out, then I kind of took them this way. And the more Pink Floyd-ish experimental. I loved OK Computer. (sighs) I've been listening to that lately. Gotten back into that. I couldn't remember how, like I listened to the first two songs. I'm like, I can't. I forgot how much I love this album. I, I kind of I've lost touch with them though. Like after Hail to oh, the yeah. Thief, like I, I, I saw them. Yeah, I saw them one time and it was like magical because like it was around the Kid A time, and then I oh, saw yeah. them like maybe five years later and I they played like a lot of new stuff and I'm like uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like they self release their shit so they don't try to get it on the radio or anything. Either you know or you don't know, like what Trent Reznor has been doing for several years. Just yeah. release your own shit. Yeah, that radio. I never, saw, I've never seen them live. But OK Computer, and then like I liked Kid A, but then the more it, it went on, I just completely stopped listening. But, yeah, I, that's about the same for me. Mm-hmm. That guy seems like a giant douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I don't know. You got anything else you want to wrap up the, the evening with? No. Check your notes. <laughs> Check my notes. I've hit everything I've wanted to talk about. We'll be, weather uh, sucks outside. Weather sucks. We're all going to be snowed in tomorrow probably, which is fine, I guess, as long as it's the last time. I'm ready for spring. As we spring will sprung. Um, we'll have the Euphoria finale next week. Um, Gemstone Gemstones ends next week too. Looks like it, yeah. They have two season finales on the same night. I don't know Sunday just got good. Now it's gonna get bad. What are gonna, what, what, what's coming up? Sunday's great because you have the Lord in the morning and then you have <sighs> Euphoria at night. <laughs> Uh, I heard that the Ozark second season's coming out. The second, whatever part of the fourth season is coming out in a month, two months. Actually, All I got to say it's, is, it's, it's the end of out, April. Watch out for Ruth Langmore. Yeah, dude, I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching the other show she's in, and it's so stupid. Is it the she it's, pretends to be somebody? It's so stupid. Oh my god! I it's watched like, like two seconds of that, and I go, "This isn't for me." Like this is. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I thought it was like a dark, like, twisted. I thought it was like a dark, twisted, or like, even, but I watched it, like, the first episode, like, this is fucking dumb. Or at least, yeah, it's just not for me. Yeah. It's like for, and then, like, the Grey's Anatomy chick did, lady yeah, like, does it, and like, okay, this is, yeah, this is not for me. It's not the same kind of show. <laughs> no. And then, like, the accent, I can't get past the accent, just so, like, not anything that i've ever heard before but um i saw her in uh dirty john okay she i haven't was, seen that she was one of the daughters dirty john mm-hmm. was like a documentary about this guy who goes around conning women there's some twitter yeah not twitter a uh, tinder thing on netflix now that looks like it's the same thing yeah but she plays the daughter and she's kind of got like a california accent like totally it's just I think like that's her natural accent maybe not, it is, not california yeah. but just like regular West Coast. She don't got that twang. Twang. <laughs> uh, I'm replying more. I don't know shit about fuck. Don't shit about fuck. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And then Saul start. Better call Saul starts soon. Which I I almost want to just rewatch that because I completely forgot what happened. 
That's a thing. Like all these shows are coming back. Like I have no idea. Peaky Blinders. You watch Peaky Blinders? No. That is, I, mean, I watch. You should watch, watch like that. Two sh- seasons of it. You should. Oh, okay. So, okay, it gets really good. That's okay. that's coming back for this last season. Okay. So, so many shows. So little time. Yeah. So little time. And there's like ten other shows that are out that I want to watch that just. I also yeah, but, saw the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix. There's a lot of hatred for it. And like, what the fuck do you want out of some movie that a guy wears a fucking face as a mask or, you know, and kills people with a chainsaw? Is any like, good? You, I mean, I didn't, I, you know, it's, it served its purpose, but everyone's so stupid. I hate this free movie that's on Netflix and it costs me nothing that I get I to sit the- in my own filth and watch. Hey, why does it, why does it have Tom Hanks in it? Like, I mean, no, it's not as good as the original. It's not as good as the sequel. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like whatever. Is it man. better? Like, is it better than the than the first reboot in two thousand three or whatever with Jessica Biel? No, it's not better than that one. Okay, it's basically like Halloween, where it takes place like all these years later. None of the sequels exist, but then he'd oh, be really? like eighty. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's just like it's just a fucking movie, man. Like it's just a movie. I want the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot uh, <laughs> reboot from the 1973 version to be perfect. It's not going to be. Yeah. yeah. There's this one scene where he goes on this bus and there, it, I didn't have a problem with it, but the more like I read criticism of it, the more I have a problem with it. But these kids pull out their phone. And they're like, watch it, dude. We're going to cancel you. And he's just like, so, <laughs> it's so it's horrible. Now I hate it. And he just starts killing everybody. <laughs> my god but i didn't think it was that bad but now i'm talking about it it's like therapeutically i've been covering some constant why is it bad huh why is it bad i mean it's a horror movie i mean it's just it served its purpose i didn't think that this is that this is a shot that's just another like you know touch of society we're gonna cancel you i'm gonna chop your fucking head off with a chainsaw that's like the director's nod to what he really thinks it's almost like the the message right there the hunt move move yeah that's interesting there's there's a couple more of those movies being made and almost like i want to watch them just to see what their take is on right i have i don't even know what they're called i just, I see them like in the reviews like so and so is the left or right wing movies just pure and utter garbage I'm like no nah, i kind of want to see it see how bad it is it really is and if i definitely I do, don't want to see the new jordan pill movie i'm done with him like his movies like have no point that trailer yeah, looks creepy to... though what's it called it they them yeah but us. it's gonna have some stupid meaning that like it's gonna be debatable and it's like this isn't even worth it is jordan peele the new m night Shyamalan? yes i think so too except it's people like, kiss scary ass premises kiss m night Shyamalan's. scary people... premises the trailers look creepy as hell but then you watch the movie and it's like what the hell is this people kiss his ass though mm. people like were very critical of m night Shyamalan and like shit yeah. on him People like Jordan Peele is just a, oh my God, you don't get it. You're too stupid to get it. Like, it's just, I don't fucking care. Like, I, I didn't want to watch some movie that like just goes off the rails at the end and then have some argument on the internet of what it fucking meant. Like, it's just not entertainment to me. Like, yeah. there's other, there's movies like, you can be, you can have meanings and messages without like just suspending disbelief, like almost as a, a last resort. Like, Here's a movie. Here's a premise. Here's the characters. Here's some weird shit happening. I'm not capable of explaining this weird shit. So we're just going to throw everything out the window and it has some kind of meaning. I mean, okay. I mean, that's what us was like. It was just like, what, what the fuck? Which okay, one was us? These doppelgangers, that, okay? that the, these doppelgangers the, are trying to kill them. Yeah. Okay. Now they dumb. live underground. They it was live creepy underground, though. And it was, cre- up, it was creepy though. Huh? It was creepy though. But yeah, that's just the like, thing is it's entertaining. At least it's entertaining. Yeah. But at the end of the day, is this genius? Does it deserve to be nominated for Academy Award? No. No. I got worked up. I, <laughs> well, I like Key and Peele, though. I thought they were funny. We can end it on that note. Now that you're all riled up. Was I riled up? Yeah. Was I? A little bit. I just hate people who think they're smart because they watch a Jordan Peele movie. Like... <laughs> I think uh, I think Mindy wants to come on the podcast. 
we were, hey, we were we, first we were talking about Jordan Peele, but earlier we were talking about how stupid. Uh, we, you know, now we got to share a mic. I was talking about how stupid the uh, the movie or the show with uh, what's her name from Ozark. Yeah, we were both talking how stupid it was or how it's not for us. I've fallen asleep in the last the what the first two episodes. I fell asleep because it's boring. It's not boring. It's just it's it's not for me. But now it feels like I've invested three hours of my time, so <laughs> I need to finish it. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, are there any movies that you've watched that you've like? We were we were discussing don't don't look up, which we enjoyed. Mm-hmm. I can never decide what to watch. You're not adding a whole lot to the podcast, then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch movies. I don't watch. <laughs> That's all right. Anything else you want to add before we wrap it up? I want some ice cream. We'll get some ice cream then. Quote of the day. <laughs> Can we all just get some ice cream and get along? Just get along yeah. and get some ice cream. I also do not like people who think they're smart just because they watch movies. That was all wrought up about that one. Yep. We were talking about, we saw that movie, the Jordan Peele movie. It's, th- that one's us, right? Yeah. Okay. Remember with the doppelgangers? It was, it was the family who, seriously, what was the premise of that movie? There was, they're the girl. They go, they go on a vacation, they go and then like vacation, they were like the the clones of them. Mm-hmm. We watched. It was they lived underground. Like everyone had a clone. You, we all have clones that live underground, and they all like rose up one day to like take over the yes, world. Did. We watched it together. No, I did not watch that movie. Yeah. Sounds like it was memorable. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like I don't remember much besides. <laughs> No, it was you. We watched it together. I know I didn't watch it by myself because I remember we were talking about it. Are they go to, remember they go to the was it a lake house? Yeah, because yeah, there was a uh, boat. Remember they go to the lake house, then like the Tim from Tim and Eric's do- in it. They go, they knock on the door, and then like they see the the family like in the driveway, and then they walk start walking towards them, and then they end up killing each other. Mm-hmm. Like the doppelgangers try to kill. We watched. I know we did. I know we did. I didn't watch it by myself. And then they took like one. One of them took one of them took the doppelganger out by the boat and then killed him out out on the boat, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Tim Tim from Tim and Eric had a family, and his doppelgangers like killed him and his family. It was the the girl from uh, Mad Men and uh, the what's that? What's that show that's like? Uh, it's on it's on Hulu and the the midwife or it's a it's a dark show. The midwife? Handmaid's Tale. Oh, the Handmaid's Tale, yeah. She was like his wife, and then they their doppelgangers murdered them all. We've seen this movie. I've, I've seen this movie. movie. I didn't watch wow. it by myself. <laughs> oh yeah, she is. I did not see this movie. Okay. Who did I watch it with? I, I don't know. Remember the I little would, remember the remember that. the little girl she sees her she sees herself in a mirror and freaks out? I remember, but I have not seen this movie. All right. Even the clips, like nothing looks familiar. Maybe it was my other girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Now we're gonna have to watch it. It, I mean, it was freaky, but it just, it was one of those, like, it just didn't make much sense towards the end. But everyone, like, all the critics were saying it's, like, genius, and it has all this deep meaning, and I don't know. I guess I disagree, as you heard earlier. I didn't, uh, I didn't see the first one, though, so maybe that's why. What was that one's not as bad. I like Get out, one. get up, get yeah. it. Yeah. Now you gotta watch it. I do. It looks like I I'm uh, running out of battery, so I'm going to have to sign off. Sounds good. All right. Well, 
until next time. We don't have any reads for Chad's water. He's uh, not returning my calls. <laughs> we may have, may have lost our only sponsor who, who gave us dirty bottle water that he says helps fight COVID. I think there's a disclaimer about that, but we'll, we'll get into that if I ever get, if I ever get in touch with him again. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll see you, man. All right. Till next time. Till next time. All right.